In this video, we present a must-have selection of new Fallout 4 mods that you shouldn't miss as we approach the end of 2023. We've brought mods from various fields, covering gameplay, outfits, and rifles, so you can look forward to a diverse range of content. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Firstly, we'll be introducing mods related to gameplay, and we've found some interesting ones. First up is Companion Combat Distance. This mod enhances the combat artificial intelligence of companions functioning with the F-Forest plugin. It alters the range and conditions under which companions detect and engage enemies. Companions now have a detection range of 5,000 and immediately join combat when the player initiates it. Additionally, turning on the attack mode allows companions to launch preemptive attacks as the player's stealth gauge reaches certain levels, with default thresholds at 50% while standing and 75% while sneaking. The attack mode can be toggled with a shortcut. Next is Disable Companion Collision. This mod provides a simple yet convenient feature that eliminates collisions between the player and companions. It prevents followers from blocking the player's path around doors or stairs. The mod settings can be adjusted through the MCM menu, offering options to control collision settings. Moving on to Companion Affinity Pip-Boy tab. This mod enriches Fallout 4's gameplay by allowing players to track the affinity with companions in real time through the Pip-Boy's data section. It adds the functionality to view each companion's affinity with customized icons. You can check the affinity of each companion in the Pip-Boy's Affinity tab. Next is Ragdoll Physics. This mod adjusts the force of bullets or melee attacks to realistic levels, preventing enemies or corpses from flying unnaturally through the air. It also introduces different impact forces based on the type of weapon used, adding realism to the game's physics. Shotguns, for example, exhibit strong force at close range but weaken at a distance, while laser weapons create a fiery visual effect. With these upgrades to the ragdoll feature, you can further enhance the immersion in the game. Following that, we have Fire Rate Show's RPM. This mode, functioning with the Farsa plugin, displays the weapon's firing rate in rounds per minute RPM. Instead of shots per 10 seconds, this allows for a more accurate comparison of weapon performance. For instance, the base 10mm pistol's fire rate is 46, but with this mod, it is displayed as 276. This indicates that the 10mm pistol can fire 276 rounds per minute. In this segment, I'd like to introduce some outfit-related mods. I've come across a few intriguing ones. Firstly, let's talk about Pip-Boy WS. The Pip-Boy WS mod completely transforms the original Pip-Boy 3000 into a freshly designed and fully customizable animated Pip-Boy created by the community. This mode offers various customization categories that can be crafted at the Armor Workbench. Additionally, you can craft and equip the Pip-Boy WS on companions and other NPCs, providing high-quality 1K and 2K models and textures. Next up is the Skegjald suit. This outfit adds a stylish suit that combines tactical elements with a well-defined body line. The entire bodysuit has a glossy finish, and the gauntlets and boots enhance the overall tactical feel. Accessories like the belt and grenades at the waist make this outfit even more appealing. The outfit can be crafted at the chemistry station, and with current CBBE and TWB body slide patches available, you can customize it to fit your body shape. Give it a try and see how it complements your character. Moving on, we have the World War II Soviet coat uniform. This mod introduces physically simulated Soviet gas masks, ushankas, and coat uniforms from World War II into the game. The long trench coat is particularly attractive, featuring a distinctive double-breasted design with large buttons and a high collar, often referred to as Chanel or Great Coat. This unique attire would be especially fitting in cold or radiation-filled environments. You can craft this outfit at the chemistry station, so if you like the outfits showcased in the video, give them a try. In this segment, we're going to introduce mods related to weapons, and I found some intriguing ones. First off, the Modern Warfare 2 Bushmaster ACR M16. This mod adds the Bushmaster ACR rifle to Fallout 4, drawing inspiration from Modern Warfare 2023. Its appearance is reminiscent of the SCAR, Notably, it features customizable options such as drum magazine modification and the addition of a grip to the lower rail. Additionally, you can modify the barrel, stock, and optics. 
including adding a laser sight to the top rail. The overall firearm sound and reload animations make it an outstanding mod. If you're looking to recreate the atmosphere of games like Modern Warfare 2023, giving this mod a try would be a great idea. Next up is the M16. It's a rifle offered as an optional addition to the previously mentioned mod. From my perspective, I haven't come across specific customization options. It fires in a semi-automatic style, discharging approximately three rounds per shot. Overall, it's an excellent rifle with impressive aesthetics, sound, and animations. Next up is the Vell 46 MP7. It's a lightweight submachine gun developed by the German company Heckler & Koch, originally designed to use 4.66 30mm ammunition. It can be equipped with various attachments, such as suppressors, lasers, and scopes. You can craft this firearm at the chemistry bench under the Vell 46 tab. Overall, it's a rapid-firing submachine gun with stable sound, making it an excellent addition to your arsenal. In this segment, we'd like to introduce several useful mods for various additions. First up is the Trash Compactor. This mod allows you to destroy unnecessary items and create compressed garbage bricks. These compressed garbage bricks are created by combining 10 items, regardless of their weight, price, or composition. The compressed garbage bricks have no weight and can be sold for five caps each. If you prefer not to drop the compressed garbage bricks on the ground, you can construct a trash bin in the resources miscellaneous category and connect it to the trash compactor. Next up is Santa's Sleigh Paint, A Merry Modding Days. This mod adds a Santa-themed power armor paint set to celebrate Christmas. As Christmas is approaching, why not immerse yourself in the festive atmosphere with this Christmas-themed power armor paint set? Additionally, there's the Modern Replacer Milk Carton mod. This mod transforms the milk bottles into milk cartons, offering a choice between clean and dirty versions. It provides a modern milk carton design that blends well with the atmosphere of Fallout 4. Moreover, there's the Modern Replacer Butane Tank mod. This mod replaces the MR Handy Fuel with a modern butane tank. You can choose from four color options and opt for either a clean or dirty version. Give your butane tanks a modern upgrade with this mod. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the latest and greatest Fallout 4 mods as we close out 2023. If you enjoyed the video and are eager to enhance your gaming experience, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things Fallout 4. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, wanderers of the wasteland, stay vigilant, stay modded, and happy gaming. See you in the Commonwealth.